The country's first citizen arriving at the Mogala Gwena Platinum Mine to launch this first of its kind haul truck. The new gen was fashioned from a diesel powered haul truck. Assembled and fitted with a hydrogen and battery powered engine here on the mine premises over a period of three years. A hydrogen manufacturing facility and a recharge pump have also been built on the mine premises. Anglo says it will be retrofitting hydrogen powered engines on all its trucks across the globe in the next five years. The company projects that the creation of a hydrogen valley across three provinces will contribute over 50 billion rand to the country's GDP in the next 20 years. Further plans to rely on hydropower are also in the pipeline. Beyond new gen, Anglo-American is also planning to tackle emissions associated with electricity power supply to our operations by developing a regional renewable energy ecosystem right here in South Africa. And that would provide to us 100% of the energy demands of all of our operations here through renewable power. The Limpopo government believes that the innovation will help the province's economy recover from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. This kind of deliverables are well considered and relevant plans to troubleshoot the detrimental effects caused by the COVID-19 pandemic to our economy and livelihoods. Ramaphosa says the success of the new gen makes the country a world leader in terms of pursuing green solutions that will grow the economy. The proposed hydrogen valley stretching from here in Limpopo right through to Gauteng to KwaZulu-Natal will position South Africa as, a, listen to this, as a global center for green hydrogen production. And in this, we are serious. We are serious. We don't seek to undermine other nations and what, in terms of what they are doing. Our objective is to be the real center, the real hub of the green hydrogen production. And that is the destination that we are moving to. It will lead to the creation of new industries. Various experts from all over the world were involved in the project, with Anglo-Americans stating that skills transfer to locals were prioritized. Piman Baloi, SABC News, Mokopani.